cave. All right, welcome to the cave, viewers. In a cave world, first you've seen my big stupid face on the screen there. This is Wolong. I hear it's like Dark Souls, so let's get a bash. Elixir, the secret of the eternal path, a prize sought by the sovereigns of old. Among them was the first emperor of the Qin, who lusted for immortality. The result of his quest to obtain the forbidden medicine was a catastrophe. The elixir's power proved overwhelming. And in the years following the dynasty's demise, it continued to exert a shadowy influence on conflict and political machinations. Many moons pass, and the Han Empire faces its final days. In these dark times, Elixir once again threatens to become the catalyst that awakens the dragons lying dormant across our land. Thank you for saving me. I'm glad you've recovered from your injuries. I found you, bearer of the eternal elixir field. Masterpiece. Finally. After all this time, my wish has been fulfilled. As long as we have you, victory is still possible. Consider that. A talisman of protection. It may just save your life one day. I cannot allow this travesty to continue. <laughs> Let us depart. Look at his beautiful face. Alright, we're in control. Let's go. Take this. I'm sure it will prove useful. Dragon's it's cure It's a medicine pot. created from refined chi. 
With it, you can heal most wounds. Okay, yes, this flask, maybe. Alright, so this game um, is made by the people who made Neo, I believe. And I quite like Neo. Um, and it also has a Three Kingdoms vibe, similar to Dynasty Warriors. Um, so yeah, we're here for that. Let's check out what we got. Inventory. Dragon's Cure Pot. Okay. Um, and what is in the bottoms then? Okay, just your usual action RPG buttons there. Alright, whoa long. Here we go. Normal attack, spirit attack. Normal attacks are fast and can easily increase your spirit. Spirit attacks are slower but deal more spirit damage which you can reduce the enemy's spirit gauge. Furthermore, when you have positive spirit you can consume the surplus spirit to increase damage. You will also not falter during attacks and will penetrate the enemy's guard. Okay, right, so positive spirit, right, let's go. Oh. Oh. Right in trusting you. Cool. Huh? Loot. R2. I don't think we'll be able to pass through this way. So what button would be heal? You want the little oh, up on the D-pad. Right, okay, cool. Perhaps if we can climb past that watchtower. So I've heard that the, the PC port of this game is a little bit shit in terms of its graphic and resolution quality. So we'll put that to the test as well. Genuine Chi Flake. Let's take a look. Oops, not that. A small flake grants a hundred genuine Chi when used. Okay, so that'll be your um, fallen soldier thing in Dark Souls where you can burst it to get currency. Deflect right before receiving an enemy attack. Using circle will allow you to redirect your enemy's attack. The timing, oh, timing this action to meet the enemy attack not only allows you to redirect the attack, it will also lower the enemy's spirit and shrink the lower end of the enemy's spirit gauge. At the same time, it will increase your own spirit. Press circle, circle to dodge and put some distance between you and your enemy, but I don't really understand the right before receiving an enemy attack. Right, I think that worked. I think that worked there. Let's try again. Right, if you dodge into an enemy attack, you can deflect it. Cool. We'll keep it in mind. Underestimating an enemy with high morale is certain to end badly for you. Okay, your morale affects your combat power. Likewise, an enemy with a high morale is more dangerous. So five is obviously greater than zero. So how do you check these things? Okay, right, so I'm at one, he's at three, so that's probably bad news. For now, anyway. If we lower that, it might serve as a platform. Eat proof ice, we could probably assume cures burning. Okay, cool. So is this just back to the very beginning then, where you can... Right, okay, so cool. Right, so we need to beat up this guy that has high morale. Let's do it. Let's take a chug. Can I put some more items on the bar there? Yeah, so heat proof ice, why not? Put it on, and then I believe you press... Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Let's see what these have got now. Ooh. Oh no! Okay. This was the village 
Arthur's residence. This is barbaric. So the yellow turbans won't even stay their swords for the elderly. Equip two types of melee weapon. Okay, Dark Souls style then. Polarm Padal. Yep, let's do it. And then how do we change between them? Switch melee weapon, hold R2 and press R. Cool. I must say already the uh, the frame rate isn't perfect. Enemy critical blow. Deflect. An enemy will wind up to perform a critical blow which cannot be blocked with guard. Taking damage from a critical blow will lower your morale rank by one. If you redirect an enemy's critical blow, the power of the deflect increases and you can significantly break the enemy's stance and recover your negative spirit. Okay. Oh shit. Let's try that again. Timing on that is unbelievable. Yes. Yellow turbans were mostly peasants who suffered from political corruption and natural disasters. Yet, they have deteriorated into mere bandits that prey on others who are also weak. Whatever could have changed them to this extent, I wonder. The yellow turbans were always the first of the baddies in, um, in Dynasty Warriors. Let's um let's dress up like them. Another genuine chi fragment there. Okay, right, so this is your uh, bonfire here. Yellow Turban Bandits Note Part 1. Okay, let's check it out. Tablet found in a small shrine in a mountain village appears to be have been written by a yellow turban bandit. The latter half is missing. The azure heaven is dead. The yellow heaven must rise in the year of the wood rat. Let the, there be prosperity for all. The great sage mentor enlightens us to usher in the yellow heaven. Sacrifices must be offered. As many as we can. Okay. Not a whole lot of interesting stuff there yet. You can raise your fortitude rank. Your morale rank drops when you're killed, but it will not go below the fortitude rank. Cool. Level up, maybe? Affects HP and the amount of spirit lost when attacking. Affects the amount of spirit gained when attacking and the amount of spirit consumed by martial arts. Affects the equipment weight limit and the amount of spirit gained when deflecting an attack. Affects the duration of a high level of spirit that a high level of spirit can be maintained for and the spirit consumed by wizardry spells affects how easily enemies can detect you and the amount of spirit consumed when deflecting <sighs> okay um so yeah i don't know maybe that one first invest quite like the stealth idea though I wonder if you can sneak, but we'll just do that one first, it can hurt. Battle preparation. Okay, that's nothing just now. Right, cool. Let's go. I think that was teaching me how to sneak there. Maybe you can't quite sneak, but you can just walk up. Yeah, I should have paid more attention to that. I got excited. Look at his face. He's glorious. You can kind of double jump. It's more like a... Just a double float. You know, you don't actually gain any height from it. It's collapsed. We shall have to find another way around. Bandit footwear. Let's put it on. Marking flag. Raising a marking flag will increase your fortitude rank as well as restore HP and dispel all status effects. Well, that ain't half bad. It's telling us to go that way, so I think we should go this way. Get some goodies. 
Try and go from the rear or above against enemies who are unaware of you. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, I can hear a body. Amaral's up at three now. Now it's at four. Okay, cool. In truth, I ended up in this village after fleeing from the Okay, the so there's the checkpoint. So I reckon <coughs> we should go this way. Can you sprint? Yes. And we can be together once more. Yeah, it's probably coming across in the in the video here, but the uh, oh fuck. Fifteen. Yep, that's bad news, isn't it? That's bad news right there. Yeah, the, I mean, hopefully you can see in the video the frame rate is actually pretty dog shit. Yeah, which is a shame. Let's see if we can um, pull off a sneak attack then. Right, first kind of crazy enemy here. Oh. Luckily he's only going for a pile there. Oh no! <laughs> Shit. That was close, though. Oh, you can guard. Right, okay. Right, okay. Cool. Revenge re-challenge. You will lose your morale points and half your genuine chi when you're killed. The morale rank of the enemy that killed you will increase. You can regain your lost genuine chi and morale points by defeating the same enemy. The enemy as a boss will regain them by challenging the boss once again. However, if you die before regaining them, they are lost forever. Well, okay, and the enemies respawn, so, right, so walk, tilt slightly, so that's the sneak. So there's no kind of genuine Sekiro level sneaking mechanic there. Okay, I'm feeling lucky, let's go back and see what we can do against this tiger here. Yeah, there you go, 16, because it killed me last time. Super important to get that sneak attack though. Twice is my limit. We'll just move on. <laughs> Let's go. Cool, right, so in this, the, the deflect mechanic is actually tied to the dodge mechanic, which is actually quite a good idea. It's everything nice and fluid, you know. Right, let's move on looking at main intended path. We'll keep a mental note that that tiger's sitting there and uh, we'll challenge him at some point in the future. Oh, what? Oh, hello. Right, what do you do for these guys to kill me? Ouch. Another thing there, viewers, is just that 
My Xbox controller is a fairly old and wired one. So I'm pretty sure that you're gonna hear absolutely everything that I'm pressing because it's quite a clicky, quite a clicky one. Um, so apologies for that. Especially during tense encounters there. Um, I'm gonna be clicking a whole bunch, I'm sure. Nice. to get this far but it's not over yet ah, yes. once we've heard this area of enemies might we be able to stop by my house oh. something I wish to yes, thanks it's actually a potentially cool idea in having a kind of dynamic leveling system or not leveling system because you can definitely equip items and stuff like that to increase your stats, but that um, fortitude level or morale level or whatever it's called, martial arts, R1 in square, R1 in triangle, unleash a powerful martial arts attack that can pierce the enemy's guard by consuming spirit. You cannot perform martial arts when your spirit gauge decreases to the lower limit. Type of martial arts will differ depending on the weapon used, only rare weapons have two kinds of martial arts. Right, okay. Okay, so I need to build up my spirit again now. Okay, we I got an extra level of attack. For great things. We shall find out soon enough. Okay, did I get everything down there? Don't know, but we'll just move on. I do have to say, the game is running like dog shit. If I, this is the second time I've said this. It's a shame, it seems like a really good game, but... It's glorious. Uh, right, elixir. Raises morale and increases spirit gain. Okay. Sure thing. Might as well just burst a little heal though, but no. A well earned victory. Cool. Rest. Level up. HP up. We'll get two levels, so HP up. Twice. You earn one wizardry spell for each of the five. What? Wizardry spells. Learn wizardry spells. Calls down a bolt of lightning on a locked on target or a point at a certain distance in front of you. Increases automatic recovery during low spirit and. Yeah, obviously the lightning one, surely. I mean, there's actually there's quite a few here. Emits an eruption of flames to the front. Or was a mote of fire in front of you. Cool. Summons rock pillars. Lots of elemental spells here. So we can get that one. Let's see. Raises bubbles of poison that will burst. Releases a cursed bolt in front. 
reduces consumption of spirit when deflecting, summons a sharply pointed icicle. You know, I quite like the idea of the lightning bolt, so why don't we just go right ahead and get that? Can we even get the fire one as well? I think so, yeah, cool. Set wizardry spells. Lightning bolt. Blasting flare. Okay. R2 plus the corresponding face button. Cast a mystic technique of the eternal way by consuming spirit. Each spell has a required morale rank to cast. You will not be able to use wizardry spells when your spirit gauge is in the lower limit. I'm sure a person of your caliber shall have no difficulty mastering wizardry spells. So it's quite a tame little lightning bolt there. But I hope it's that okay. everyone who escaped the brutality has gone to The exciting thing is that this could be quite a beautiful game, this... Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> yep. Anyone else getting the feeling? Here we go. It could be a really good game, this. It's just the frame rate is just... atrocious just now. They'll fix it, though. Dogs of the Han Court, are you? Any who oppose us shall know only the end of our blades. Zhang Liang. <laughs> You'll be begging me to spare you. Oh god. Oh, I tried to go for a lightning bolt there. Staggered there. Oh. oh, come on. Pay attention, Guff Bot. Ouch. Okay, no healing left. to have your spirit gauge deplete there. Ouch. Oh, area of effect there, and don't stagger again. Yep. Half health. Not bad. It's almost never a good idea to do that uh, lightning bolt against them. In basic training, you're able to practice action controls. No, I don't think we need basic training. We just need to try them again. Yeah, it's almost never a good idea to do that lightning bolt against this guy because every time I tried it, I took damage. So let's just rely on our battle mechanics here. I just ran past him there. Gosh, that's a sad. Oh. oh no. Oh, just in time. Okay, one more chance at this. Oh, 
Shut down. No, it's just yellow because of the lightning damage. Right. It's doable. It's doable. Find myself wishing for 60 frames a second though. Let's go. Still in Elden Ring, kind of slow, slow enemy wind up mode. Jesus. Oh, I was scratching my. <laughs> Jesus. Give me a minute. Right, thank you. Oh, I'm scratching my nose again. I just see a problem developing here with how it checks. Oh, I swear. Oh my god, I thought I had that thing. Right. Whew. This is tough. Right out of the gate, it's conforming to the absolutely fucking brutal first boss tradition. How itchy I am today is costing me a lot of hit points. Now. Assistance, friend. I, General of Man, brother of the Great Sage Mentor. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's what I get for getting cocky into. Shall not betray my brother's trust. <laughs> Give me a break. Jesus Christ, man. Oh 
Okay, so that's a side do as well. Ah, oh, come on, don't try and combo. <sighs> that is what I get. I felt so good after defeating the first phase there. <laughs> this is the first boss, man. Since your dodge is also your deflect, you need to not panic. You need to not panic it. I'm already doing worse than that last thing. Yeah, you need to not panic, you need to wait for your... You need to wait on it, play it like Sekiro. Yeah, maybe. Heal. Oh, I don't have any heal. What about this? Right, okay, it's... It was that all along that I was supposed to do. Try and go in circle. That was easy. Fought very well. Now the village is safe. By my head. Why are you? You shall die. He belongs every bit as strong as the rumors say. Hmm. 
This world is steeped in chaos. It needs one like you to bring peace to it. I cannot let you die. Look at his glorious face. Hmm? Huh? 